teaching or collaborative, um, you know, the teacher involving or the teacher getting involved in the students' writing and yep. and and basically, you're encouraging teachers to show students steps from the idea to writing. Is that right? Yes. Isn't it? Because students a lot of times don't have the chance to see the writing process happen, and that's a really important step. Um, because if you're solving a math problem, you know you want to see how does this get solved, and it's the same with writing. And again, what are some of the steps that uh, it's helpful to show the students? Well, you know? really starting from an idea, so choosing between two different flavors of ice cream, and then going to the finished product by saying, how do we make it interesting? You might start writing, you might say, here's what I'm going to talk about first, second, so possibly making an outline. I know a lot of students have difficulty with that. Not so important for if it's a short, uh, if it's a very short thing, but um, maybe organizing and then writing it. How, uh, how do I revise as I'm going? Does this sound good? What words might I, words might I use instead? Uh, asking students questions, and that really helps. And um, again, the, the personal narrative, um, uh, how, now you said that kids really enjoy telling stories verbally, mm -hmm. but sometimes they think their life is so boring that they can't write something. And again, mm -hmm. what are the steps that a teacher can use to um, encourage a student to write an interesting, you know, make that lead to an interesting story on paper? I think uh, by asking questions, so maybe directing it, like tell us about a time you're brave, getting students to raise their hands and just say it verbally first. You uh, mean, uh, you mean uh, telling the story verbally? Getting a maybe story. not necessarily the whole story, but just saying, uh, oh, when I, um, when I uh, took my bike to, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, okay, so for instance, maybe at the time I was brave, when I rode my bike all the way down a big hill. Uh, you might just say it like that and then expand on the idea. So starting by asking you, can you tell us quickly what your idea is in a sentence or a couple of words. So riding my bike down a big hill, that was time I was brave. Then the teacher might ask, well, how can we expand on that? What were some details? How do you feel? So by asking questions, and at this point, maybe uh, I would go up to the keyboard and I would start typing. I would type the idea, rode my bike down a big hill, and then I would add some descriptive words. So if the student said I felt scared, I would add scared, and then we would begin writing it. So I think uh, starting out by getting this idea, maybe asking for some details or some descriptive words, and then how do we make this more exciting, and really writing it with the students. And again, um, actually writing it out like you did, so yes. showing that you showing know, just showing actual writing and, and it's a mystery. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's what I like to call the poison tester approach. Because so many kids, they have this very um, fearful, it's kind of, uh, you know, approach to writing. So by testing the poison, okay, not saying writing is poisonous or anything, but um, teachers, by putting yourself in that vulnerable position where students see that you might even have the occasional thing with how do I make this sentence sound better, uh, that, that makes it so much easier for them because then they don't feel bad. I don't have an idea. Well, the teacher is thinking of an idea right now. She, she takes a little time too, so it's okay for me to do that. And any, any other examples of technology? You're talking about the blog and the, uh, um, well, the chat rooms. You were talking about chat rooms. Can you set up a chat room with students and, and you know, and just and get them? And you said that that really helps kids learn how to type. Is that or is that? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that you can uh, set up, like you can just set up a private chat room uh, with students to have them chat with each other, type, try typing fast. Um, online, you remember, your online school, you have the game. Jeopardy, you have to type your answer really quickly, remember? Yes, um, when I was in eighth grade, we had History Jeopardy, and it was a live session. We would go into the virtual room. It was like an Illuminate session. I don't know if any of you have had experience with that. Um, and so then the way it worked was we had a whiteboard that had the presentation, the Jeopardy questions, and the chat. And whoever sent in the answer the fastest would be uh, given the points for the question. And of course, um, I had a bit of an unfair advantage because I, at the time I typed it 110 words per minute if I wanted to. So. 
I, if I knew the answer, I would just read it. I also read really quickly. So what happened is I would sometimes not send in my answer because I realized that somebody else should have a turn. <laughs> but um, I, and sometimes I did get beaten by people, actually, at school. But actually that kind of, that high pressure uh, can be used for a good thing. Sometimes it turns people off, the high pressure, if you have to solve a math question really quickly, it just freezes up your mind. But when it's typing and when it's fun and not necessarily um, really high consequences, then it makes it better. And again, any other reasons why you prefer real books over an iPad or a book? Or? I think more, uh, it's more of a vision thing, I guess, because I wear glasses and I use the computer a lot. I'm sort of tired of having a backlit screen. So maybe Kindle's better, I don't know. But also the um, the way the pages turn, If because I read pretty quickly, then kind of I... Kind of clunky to... Yeah, and I turn back. the pages, yeah. And I like to, I do like to flip back. But you can't, with an iPad, you can't stick your thumb at page 140, go flip ahead to somewhere in 160, flip back to 140, and say, oh, that's, you, know, you can't do that with the pull, mm -hmm. sticking your finger at a page.